were challenged, just like the founders of the organization were. I mean, they took on big challenges when this organization was formed. I think we're carrying on that same tradition, and we're doing it with our eyes wide open, and we're listening to our owner communities. If you just looked at the universe of the state of Colorado, it's the most ambitious plan that's been announced in the state. I'm proud of the work that we're doing, but I would be the first to say that we've got a lot more work ahead of us than we do behind us. Flat River Power Authority's owner communities are Fort Collins, Loveland, Longmont, and Estes Park. We have worked over the last couple of years on an integrated resource plan to decarbonize our portfolio, to ultimately reach a goal by 2030 of 100% carbon-free resources. The mandates in the policy were very important. There's three pillars in this organization that we want to make sure are maintained. We're running models for reliability, for environmental responsibility, and for affordability. Delivering electricity is first and foremost a public health and safety issue. It's important to low-income families that they can afford their bill. It's important to large businesses that one of their largest expenses is affordable. It gives them a competitive advantage in this area. In the world, we're really undergoing a fundamental transformation of our electric power systems. It's less about this technology and that technology. It's more about integration and how do we have a wholly integrated system. Obviously there's not solar at night and the wind doesn't blow all the time. You've got to have a way to make sure that you can serve your citizens energy needs when your renewables aren't producing. So things like battery storage, electric vehicles, smarter consumption of electricity, and people having real-time information. We have a lot of options to meet our 2030 goal of being 100% renewable. It doesn't start in five years or 10 years, it starts today. We are, as we sit here right now, at 50% non-carbon energy, our, our largest renewable project to date when commercial. 225 megawatts of wind on the system will provide about a quarter of all the community's energy needs on an annual basis. We are in the final stages on a new solar project that will move us to the 60% non-carbon energy by 2023. I think innovation has always been a hallmark of our communities, and that means we're not just stuck in the status quo and doing it the same way one more time, but really thinking about how can we honestly make it better. I just want to thank everyone that participated in the process for being a voice and caring about our community. If you would have told the board back when they adopted resource diversification policy in 2018 that we'd present them a plan in less than two years that could get us 90% of the way there, people wouldn't have thought it was possible, but yet we've done it. We have to be innovative, we have to be thoughtful, we have to come together in a way that we can realize that future together for our community. We're all trying to get to the same place, and we're going to be relentless in our pursuit of it but we're going to do it in a responsible way and we're going to be transparent with our owner communities and we're going to ask for their help because we're going to need their help. And we have a long track record of success and so we can learn from what's worked and apply those things as we move forward into this new energy era. And I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to get there and we're going to be a leader while we do it.